Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to start a new series of tutorials on Mela 6 from Nicolosi. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to support what I do, please do check the instruction contained in each video description. Thank you again. So, new series of tutorials on Mela 6, highly requested, so here we go. And we are going to uh, kick off the series with the very first video on how to get started, how to learn about the user interface. It might be a simple video, straightforward, but it might not be straightforward for everybody. Okay, so we are inside the AUM full screen. And um, this is what uh, uh, Mela 6 will look like when, of course, you started it the first time. So you have this preset called default and you have, um, it sounds like this. Okay, there is a lot on the screen, so let's take it easy and let's familiarize with the controls on this first video. So let's start very much from the top, the middle. You see this nice icon, click on it, and you have uh, this screen, which or this window, which shows you the name of the product, Mela version 6, and design engineering by Nicolosi. Okay, click on the exit to actually dismiss that window. Okay, next, you might not see the keyboard at the bottom. That means that it has been deactivated. So if you click here on this symbol for the, key for the keyboard, you have a keyboard appearing on the bottom of the screen. Standard keyboard, here you have a pitch band, here you have also modulation, which you can see is acting on the LFO def, in this case, but also on the cutoff, okay. Then you can go up and down an octave, you can click here to hold the note. And you can also adjust the velocity in case you want to do that. So let's click again on this icon to make the keyboard disappearing as I don't really need it. I have already connected an external controller to Mela 6. Okay, so top left we have here, it says default. This is where we select the preset. So the preset currently uh, selected or loaded is called default, which is the first one that you should see when you load uh, Mela 6. Okay, so if you click on the right arrow, you move to the next one, which is the init preset. And if you press some note, nothing happens. Keep going like that. This is the next one. Okay, keep going, as you can see, next one. Pay attention, of course, that it might clip, the volume might be too high, in that case you might have to adjust it. As you can see, now you can go to the previous preset, and so on, next um, preset or previous preset, okay? Okay, that's nice and straightforward. Now click where it says the name of preset, like so, and it opens up this window where you can choose the preset alphabetically or random in a group, right? So like so. You can also go back to the default one 
you can go to the init one, you can save a preset, you can save and export, and you can also click for help, which gives you a little bit of help in case you need it for the uh, preset. Click outside here to minimize that window. Click again here, and you can choose also preset search. When you open a preset search, you can see it opens the sidebar and it position the cursor, the cursor on the search here where you can actually start to type. So you can say PAD for pads. There you go. And I choose a pad and then I, it's loaded. OK, and then I can minimize the keyboard like so. Click here on the arrow, which is pointing down to close that side window sidebar. <laughs> Perfect. Now let's go back alphabetically here. Let's click here again to open up the sidebar. So as you can see, the top is for searching. We have a category which is called user. Click here on the three dot where you can import, export or empty the user group or create a new group. Then underneath you have all preset categorized by these different groups. So leads like so. And you can click and open each section or group, the keys, like so. And then you click on one, then click outside, sorry, here on the arrow pointing down so that it will point to the right again to minimize that window sidebar. <laughs> Really great sound. Next, here you have this question mark up here, which opens up your help. So in case you need it, perfect. Then here you have these cogs for settings. There is a lot in here, so let's kick off. The first one is the tempo, so you can set the tempo if you need to. You can change the sample uh, rate if you like to, and also the plugin type, okay, if you need to. Next, you have a section for a module collection, and this is where you need you can acquire additional collections. So the top one, collection zero, is free, and it contains eighteen modules, which are listed here, which are the basic modules. Then you have collection one, twenty-five more modules. You can see called chorus. And glide level, there's a lot in there. Collection two, more advanced modules, 16 modules, clipper, comb filter, pitch ratio, vibrato, and then finally collection three, 18 modules, all pass, audio to modulation, etc., etc., reverb, and so on. Okay, so back again to the settings here. You can also change the zoom level from 100%, for example, 125. You see, it's getting bigger. I prefer to stay on 100. You can change the theme. For, for example, you, you can go white. Ooh, really, really powerful white. So I prefer to have a Melafo Plus as a style. Then you have different links to getting started for your help, for your tutorials, your change log, your FAQ. You can submit feedback. Then you have a section here where you can connect uh, uh, with Nicolossi on X, Instagram, YouTube, threads, or email directly. And then you can leave a review. You can become a bit of testing and you have access to the art artist presets. Okay. So that's a little bit of the top section. Okay, and the onboard keyboard, of course, to use Mela 6. Now, let's have a look at what we can see on the screen. It is very, very busy. And for that, let's click here and select in it to go back to a more simplified version of a preset. Now, this is not a full. Uh, preset because if I press some keys, nothing will happen. But it's just to explain a little bit the UI. So it says here lane one, okay, and you can see an arrow pointing down. Click on it and your course minimize um, that uh, uh, that lane, okay, or that part 
uh, of the screen. You can click here on the lane name, lane one, and we'll reopen again. Click on lane one, and it will collapse again or close that again. Okay. You can add lane pressing on the add lane like so, and it says lane two. Again, it is open at the moment, but you can close it as well. You have three dots on the right hand side for each lane. Click on it and you can select to insert the lane. You want, if you want to add an additional one before that lane, duplicate, duplicate it or delete it as well. Okay. And then, of course, when a lane is open, like so, you have this plus symbol. Click on the plus symbol and it will open this menu, context menu, where you have different categories for audio processor, MIDI processor, modulator, pitch processor, signal router, utility, and Mila Lab. And this is where you call up for your module. So, for example, if you want to uh, actually let's uh, uh, delete each one of them like so. So no lanes at all. Click on the add lane. Click on the plus sign here. And then if we want to capture incoming MIDI, MIDI signal, you will go for signal router and you will say MIDI in. And that is what is going to capture MIDI events coming into Mela 6. Okay, so that's the video in terms of uh, the UI. Of course, this works inside AUM by, um, or host and then UV free host, but it also works as a standalone application. Um, just spend some time going through the uh, different presets. Some of them are really tremendous, really, really nice. And of course, you have also MIDI effects and also audio effects as well, because indeed it can work as a MIDI processor, as an audio processor, and as a normal synth as well, with a lot of features. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop here and I hope you enjoy this first getting started tutorial and I see you at the next one where we'll start to create a simple preset with modules from the first basics collections. See you next time. Bye.